On NDTV exclusive, Foreign Minister Salman Khurshid has lashed out at former Home Secretary R.K. Singh over the latter's criticism of the Home Minister. Speaking to NDTV's Neha Khanna, Khurshid said the mistake the UPA government made was to appoint R.K. Singh as Home Secretary. Asking why Singh didn't resign if he felt wrong things were happening in the Home Ministry, Khurshid even accused the former Home Secretary of messing up the case of the Italian Marines. There's another story which has been dominating headlines for the last couple of days. Uh, R.K. Singh, former Home Secretary, who is now of course a member of the BJP, has made a very scathing attack on your Home Minister, Mr. Sushil Kumar Shinde, today saying he's not fit to be Home Minister of this country. He uh, takes money for postings and he uh, in fact has been shielding a businessman who had links with Daud Ibrahim. Those are very serious charges. Well, listen, uh, was there anything, I mean, I, I'm not prepared to believe a uh, shred of this. And uh, uh, R.K. Singh was a classmate of mine, by the way. Uh, and I've never had, uh, I never had uh, a great, uh, a great impression about his intellect. Uh, but he was your home secretary. I know, he was the home in, secretary. In your government. I think what R.K. Singh should have said, really, is uh, he should have gone on television and said, uh, the UPA government made a terrible mistake in choosing me to be Home Secretary. I think that's what he should have said. He's saying all the wrong things. I don't believe what he said, frankly. Uh, but fact is, you chose him to well, be in that position. No, no, of course. It just shows, it just shows that we are, uh, uh, we are, we are uh, wedded to a system by which seniorities and, and uh, regional representations and all these things matter. And some people slip in who, frankly, should not be in that office. But having said that, uh, if you think he was... he should not have been Home Secretary? No, no, but the fact that he became a Home Secretary uh, and he found that something that was happening that he, f he felt was so terribly, terribly wrong, he should have resigned then. And he should have said something terrible is happening. If we are talking about this, I think the disaster, the disaster that was caused on the Italian Marines uh, was largely due to Mr. R.K. Singh. Uh, and why do you say that? Well, I say that because, because he's the one who decided that uh, Suppression of Unlawful Activities Act and navigation should be imposed, which gives a compulsory death sentence, a mandatory death sentence, to two Marines who may have exceeded, exceeded their duties, but they were not terrorists. We could simply have had a trial. We could simply have by now got through the evidence, had a trial and told the Italians, well, our law says they are guilty or our law says they are not so guilty. So you're saying it's Mr. R.K. Singh. Who else was it? Who decided no, no, I'm, that I'm just saying, why this law he, should be invoked? Why doesn't he explain? And frankly, I don't want to go into my discussions with him, but some of the things he said made me laugh. For example? For example, ah, if you want to protect them, you can show that they have come back under an Extradition Act agreement. Extradition Act, they, were, they went from here by a Supreme Court order and came back after, after, after a few days in compliance with the Supreme Court order. And this Mr. R.K. Singh is saying that the Home Minister is to be questioned. If he really felt the Home Minister was wrong, he should have then just resigned. No, it doesn't, it's not going to help him by saying that X knew and Y knew and somebody else knew. Well, if they knew, they should, he should have just gone to them and say, I can't work with this Home Minister. Why didn't he say that? How come he just suddenly gets all this wisdom after he retires and after he joins the BJP? He may have, he may have said, look, why don't you post this guy there because so many people think he's a good officer. He may have said that, but these things are said all the time. And if you feel that the person is not appropriate to be posted to somewhere, you come back to your minister and you say, sir, I disagree. But you know, he's an ex-officer. He's an ex-officer. He's gone out of our system. I don't think we should run him down. And I think that he should... Good luck to him that he goes now and he wants to get into politics. I hope he's a little more honest and a little more faithful to the masters that he will serve now uh, than he was to the masters that he served in the past.